This is Fawn Glibly with another News Bite moment. I'm here with Gerald Prattle, bringing New Detroit all the news it needs to know when we want you to know it. That's right, Fawn, and today we want you to know that we're saluting our very own Happy Bill Solomon, News Bite's very own weatherman, celebrating 10 years with News Bite. <laughs> Happy Bill's anniversary. Now that's news. Yeah! Hey, New Detroit. Thanks for making me your fair weather friend. Friend, my foot. Backstabbing, job stealing, bow tie wearing little ferret. That's more like it. Uh, oh, no offense, Jaja. I know some of your cousins are ferrets. Used to be I was in charge of this city's weather. Alexander Nino was the weather king. It's time I showed New Detroit who the best weatherman really is. The one who predicts the weather, or the one who controls it. an alarm inside. Freeze, police! You are under arrest for breaking and entering, looting, and overdressing on a hot day. satellite caused some minor damage. I don't get it. Nanook of the North goes to all this trouble to burglarize the museum. What? But what does he take? This thing called Weather's Folly? I remember that. Ancient history. It was supposed to operate a weather satellite. What for? To control the weather. So why is it called Weather's Folly? Because it didn't work properly. Computer commands back then were too primitive to control it. Hollow projector. Snow melted at ski resorts. Lake Michigan froze solid. And crops were destroyed by heat. I did a report on the whole debacle into third grade. <laughs> I just bet you did. Why would anyone want to steal something that didn't work in the first place? Perhaps because he's found a way to make it work now. Doubt it. I came up with a new set of algorithms just last week that should make it work. But it's taken me years, and, well, I'm a genius. Excuse me, Numi, but you're not the only genius on the planet. Maybe, but everyone in my chat room said I was the first one to make the Weather's Folly work. In theory. You posted the information in a chat room on the Omnimed. Well, sure. That's not good, is it? 
Got a lead on our parka man. Someone saw him drive off in an old RV. Shouldn't be too hard to spot in this heat. I've ordered a citywide search. We don't have long to wait, Jaja. New Detroit are enjoying our hot spring weather because we're in for another five days of it. Citizens of New Detroit, you should not listen to Happy Bill. He doesn't know what the weather has in store for you. Only I know the weather. Hey, is that Parker Man on TV? My little groundhog friend saw her shadow today. He's pirating the signal. Tracing the signal's origin. Which means we can expect six more weeks of winter, even if it is in the middle of spring. <laughs> Only I know the weather. Alexander Nino, the weather king. I've got his location. ever gonna find him here. How about the one over there with the TV tower and the snow chains on its tires? Whoa! What was that? Hey! He's making a break for it! Please pull over to the side of the road. citizens. I owe you one again. Hey, it's El Nino. Seems to me that the people of New Detroit need a weatherman who can actually predict the weather. I'll get another trace going. And that would be me, El Nino. Are we back on? Is the signal booster working? Good. Hey, friends, that was El Nino. He was fired years ago, so don't pay any attention to him. His predictions were always wrong. Why don't you tell them why I was fired, Happy Bill? Because you turned my weather maps upside down. That's why my predictions were wrong. You sabotaged me! Why didn't you just retire, old man? Florida land beckons. Why don't you go to Florida land, get a real tan instead of that fake stuff you rub on out of a bottle? Loser! Phony! Uh, uh, bad dresser! Bad dresser! What's wrong with my parka? <laughs> Bypass their signal! Get me back on the air now! Gerald, Bill, it's Fawn in the studio. Yes, Fawn, we all know you're in the studio, all nice and toasty and warm. Just thought our viewers would like to know. Our news bite Instapol has been tracking how people feel about this duel in the sun and rain. Who does New Detroit support? Happy Bill Solomon or old Al Nino? 
Nino. Uh, yeah, uh, something's fishy with this whole El Nino thing. Uh, I think he's fixing the weather, and I think he's a menace. That snowstorm wrecked my car. Oh, can't somebody stop El Nino? He's destroying our beautiful city. All right, that's it. Citizens of New Detroit, if you aren't willing to give me another chance, I'm not willing to give you one either. I've got his location. He's on the north side of town, near the wharf. If New Detroit declares war on El Nino, then El Nino declares war on New Detroit! <laughs> it's payback time, baby. Wow, look at that. Is that a, 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 a tornado? We'll be right back after these messages. And now, back to the show, citizens. the maximum assault mode. What's happening? Using his ultimate weapon against the tornado, but it's too experimental, it could destroy him. <laughs> Look at the sky. What happened to the tornadoes? I have a sinking feeling, I know. This is not good. All that melting snow's gotta go somewhere. This whole place could flood. and shut down his sideshow. Propeller. Swan buggy. All aboard. As you can see, New Detroit is experiencing flood-like conditions. Oh, uh, we recommend th that everyone get to higher ground and do so as quickly as possible. You can run, but you can't hide, Happy Bill. <laughs> The 
El Nino's on the move. Away from the wharf and headed this way. No one's going to stop me! Not even Robocop! for meteorological terrorism and generally raining on our parade. Hand over the device, Nino. No! Look around you. This situation has gone beyond your control. Let me help you stop this. Responding! The storm's causing too much interference! The storm's blocking the shutdown signal! We have to think of something or New Detroit's not gonna be around much longer! Wish me luck! What? Shit, Mary! Hey, where are you going? Stop! Newmeyer, programming the shutdown code! up there. Uh, yeah! Murphy, your mini jet pack wasn't designed for high altitude flights. You, you'll run out of fuel first. Everyone talks about the weather. Time to do something about it. seconds and we'll give you the world new detroit undergoes a massive cleanup after al nino's assault on our city weatherman happy bill solomon is under investigation for alleged fraud regarding his role in al nino's earlier career calamity we'll welcome weatherman houston showers to our news bite family when he can join us from the new republic of texas Meanwhile, we do have Dr. Cornelius Newmeyer, who was key in saving our city. Um, the barometric differential is being quadrangulated by the velocity of the northwest swell, which causes the... Um, <laughs> in English, Newmeyer? Uh, it's gonna be warm and sunny today. Couldn't ask for better weather than this, now could ya? The way nature intended.
Don't move, citizen. We'll be right back. And now, back to the show. <laughs> 